Hey and welcome to my tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to configure uh, your Lightning homepage and also go over some of the important key components um, introduced in Lightning. So let's get started. I, um, I'm on my setup homepage and we're going to click new here. And here you can choose app page, home page, or record page. Today's tutorial is going to be based on home page. So click home page, click next, and I'm going to say sales home. Click next. And you can choose from a template or you can clone the Salesforce default home page for easiness or quicker. Let's select the Salesforce default home page and click finish and we'll already have some components by default on the home page. All right, um, once we land on this page, quick um, notice that the news component might not be available for everybody by default. So if you don't have news component available, make sure you go to your setup menu and from setup, Search for account settings. So once you have an account settings, there is a checkbox save enable news. So when your news is enabled, that's when you're able to see the news component on the home page. It says you provide users with a customized list of timely relevant news from US sources. It appears on accounts, contacts, leads, opportunity, and the home page. So if this is not enabled, you're not going to see the news component there. So make sure that's enabled. Um, we don't need the news come out, so I'm going to cross it out. And uh, let's start with Assistant. Assistant is a purely standard component. You cannot customize it. Uh, we don't have any control over it. Basically, it shows you, um, it shows your users what objects or records need attention for the day. So basically, all the leads. If I hover over this, I can see it, as, it display important updates about a user's leads and opportunities. So if any opportunities do not have a task for more than 30 days or has an open task or the leads have been assigned, then it displays right here. All right. I do have a definition from Salesforce um, documentation and I'll be sure to put the, um, that definition in the description below. So that's assistant and chatter feed and publisher. Chatter feed is a place where you are able to see all the chatter feeds and posts and questions. So let's put it right here and the chatter publisher. All right. So Chatter Publisher is from where you are going to be posting your updates and Chatter Feed is where you actually see the updates. So make sure it's, uh, we have three options here, bookmark, what I follow and to me. Bookmark is only going to show feeds here if, if you have bookmarked something. Otherwise, leave it to what I follow if you want to see all the updates here. Dashboard. So dashboard is something new which is introduced with Winter 18. If you are using your developer sandbox, you will not see dashboard unless you have pre-released um, SAM developer environment, you'll be able to see it there. Um, dashboard is basically going to display your dashboard on your homepage, which is really cool uh, with this Winter 18 release. Now, there are there is one important thing to keep in mind before using the dashboard component is that it varies or it looks different depending on where you place it on your home page. What I mean is, let's say if your dashboard is on the larger section or the wider region, it is going to be able to display all the charts. But if I put the same dashboard over here on the smaller section or the narrower section, it only displays a link and then that link will open up a new window as a dashboard. So that's something to keep in mind. I personally prefer putting it on this side just to make sure I have all the reports or all the charts available there. 
actually going to select the dashboard. Say my funnel. So put a dashboard there. And flow is basically you can put a flow component on your home page. So let's say if you have a past interview, anything which requires user interaction, you can put it there and the users can directly interact right from your home page. It saves a lot of time. I currently don't have any flow, so I'm not able to demonstrate that. Items to approve is items to approve for the component uh, for the user logged in user it displays up to five approval requests that are wa waiting for the response. List views is the filter list or actually it is renamed to list view. It was previously called filter list. List views actually as the name suggests brings all the list views from all of your objects. For the user to be able to see this they definitely need access to the object and access to the list views which you are going to use here. Let's say I'm using count and I say um, automotive then the user need access to automotive list view and the account object and you can also choose how many records you want to display now just like dashboard the list view also looks different based on where it is placed on the home page so if I put it on this side on the narrower section this is how it currently looks like let me choose a better example so I can show you the records. Uh, you say my prospect accounts. All right, so this is how it currently currently looks like. You have all the fields, and there will be a more button so you can drill down the list view. But if you put it on this side. This is, a, this is also a new feature with Winter 18. You'll actually see the actual list view, just like it looks like in the actual page with new and all the buttons and the settings tool. Just like if I go to the actual account and go to the same list view, they are going to be exactly the same, but in a reduced size, of course. So that's list views. Very useful. Um, tool or component news we already covered that performance is actually a rename of quarterly performance it is still shows your quarterly performance but they just re renamed it to performance and it is also a standard component we do not have any control over it or we, there is absolutely no way to configure performance and uh, the definition is it shows you a graph of um, opportunities more than 70 percent with probability more than 70 percent and the goal so the only thing you can configure is the goal amount which you can set up for your users and it is used to monitor the performance so basically you are comparing the goal amount with how many closed and open opportunities owned by that logged in user with more than 70 percent probability and the close date should be within that fiscal quarter but again also if if you are if your org is using a custom fiscal quarter or custom fiscal year then uh, you won't be able to then basically you won't be able to use this component it is only for standard fiscal um, year quip is um, an external app and it requires an additional license, so we're not going to go to cover that today. Recent items and recent records. Now, recent records is very much similar to your Salesforce Classic recent items. It shows all the latest uh, records accessed by the logged in user. And you, you cannot configure anything here. But the difference between recent records and recent items is that recent items actually lets you configure what do you want to show so let's say for your org you only your only important objects are account and opportunities then you actually can select that you only want to show recent account and recent opportunities so that's kind of cool because it is very easier for the user to just access it from the home page all the recently viewed items 
So you can say account opportunities and you can also name it my recent account and opportunity. And you can also say how many numbers of records you want to display there. Now, one important thing about um, recent items is that the fields. Now, the, these fields which you see on the recent items can only be configured from compact layout settings. So if you go to your object manager and uh, configure compact layout for both the objects, account and opportunities, you go to compact layouts and configure. So you cannot configure the system default. You can clone the system default and create a new one. I already have one. I'm just going to show you real quick. So just create a compact layout and put whatever fields you want to show there and save it and then you just assign it. Actually this is new because before you were only able to, one compact layout was for one object and that's it. Now we have, um, you can choose primary compact layout that's for mobile, Salesforce 1 and this is for different record types. So this is kind of a long road. I'm really hoping that in future releases, um, if they can provide a way to configure these fields because I feel like this consumes a lot of space on your homepage. But if you still want to get rid of it, um, you can always go to Compact Layout and remove these fields from there. So that's how we do that. Next one is recommendations. Is um, It is related to Einstein. I've never used it. Um, yet, so I am not going to explain about recommendations today. Report chart is, as the name suggests, it displo displays a chart from your report. Now what's new with this release is that you are now able to select or have a link to the report. Before it would only show the report chart and that's it. There was no way to drill down to the report. But now we have this little link called view report. You can select a report and search for funnel. Definitely have some funnel here. So let's say, uh, just gonna select a funnel and um, you can actually select catch age and show refresh button. So if you click on this, there will be a refresh uh, button on the home page so they can actually refresh it as they go. So I usually like putting that button. Rich text is a very simple um, component. You can actually show um, any, if your users have any information you want to display to them. Welcome to the home page or anything. It could also be a link actually. You can make it bold, do all this designing and also actually include a link there which actually is helpful because I couldn't find a way to configure recent or your homepage links just like in Salesforce Classic we used to have the links there. I don't see the links in Lightning so you can use it this way. So if there is a website that your users access to you can actually put that website link right here and configure it on the home page all right um, next is today's events and today's task which is very pretty intuitive it displays the users next five events scheduled today and linked to the users calendar task is again today's task and it also links to the task list Top deals is another standard component which cannot be configured. It shows the top five opportunities. And the opportunities it shows is mostly used by owners, sorry, owned by the users and the sales team. If you have sales team enabled, sales team, the users logged in sales team basically, that's top deals. and Again, users do require permission to mount field and certain other fields to be able to see this top deals component on your homepage. And again, I'll include all these definitions in the description below.
Visual Force page is basically you can display your Visual Force page on the home page, which is really cool if you have a Visual Force page you really need access to in Lightning. But I would recommend uh, actually either A, writing component for that Visual Force page so that it looks, um, it doesn't look out of the place in your home page, or B, try to use Salesforce Lightning Design Suite SLDS uh, for the Visual Force page before using it here because they look completely different and it's completely going to look out of the place. And the Wave Dashboard is, um, if you have Wave enabled, it's actually extra licensing so you can embed a Wave Dashboard on your home page. So I think we covered um, all the components, most of the components. Um, let's save it. After saving it, most important is activation. So you can either say not yet and come back for the activation, just like that. And I'm going to, so you can either set up for entire org, default homepage, or assign homepage to specific profiles. So I'm going to assign to specific profiles, and for today's tutorial, I'm going to assign it to myself, which is system admin. Click next and uh, activate. That's it. So now we go back. Click on home. Might need to refresh it a couple of times. And with winter 18, you also might have noticed that you have this blue background. So if you have any component which has blue background on the component itself, you might want to consider changing it to white or some other background. Um, yes, I think it got refreshed. So this is our home page. I didn't have a lot of chart here. So otherwise, you have three charts right here. From your dashboard, these are recent records, top deals, your chatter, short by latest post, and your report has a link here and refresh, refresh button, and that's the chatter post. Hello, share it. And you're going to see it right here. Chatter feed. This is the chatter feed. And if you see on the My Recent Account and Opportunity, these are the fields we configured in the compact layout, which is why we see all these four fields for the accounts. I think that's pretty much it for today's tutorial. And uh, I'll be sure to come back with another tutorial for record page and app pages. And please let me know if you have any questions or comments below. And um, for more information, check out my blog. Um, thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.